Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. Um, real quick, before the video starts, I just wanted to say, rather than me trying to remember to turn around and ask you guys a question somewhere during the video, I thought it would just be easier for myself to ask you a question in the form of a comment, starting now in every single ASA. So, look out for the pinned comment and answer the question if you so wish. But anyways, now let's actually answer the questions that you guys asked me. This is where the fun begins. Starting with E.K. Starlord. He says, do you think Mo Moff Gideon's TIE Fighter should be the next Mandalorian set? Um, I, I mean, sure, I guess. I don't really have a preference on, like, what LEGO should make in regards of the Mandalorian. Um, I'll pretty much buy anything, uh, let's be honest here. A TIE Fighter would be cool because, well, TIE Fighters are awesome, right? So, yeah, um, I... Couldn't really answer that one, sorry. Our next question comes from Ace Gamer Studios. He says, my question is, what UCS set do you want LEGO to make besides the Venator? Honestly, well, for starters, I don't really care about UCS sets because I think they're too expensive. Well, I shouldn't say too expensive. They're they're decently priced. It's that I just don't want to spend like $300 on a single set. So you can say, I'm SpongeBob, and you're spending all me money. And then I'll say, but Mr. Krabs, I'm only doing what you said. Then you'll say, we're not talking about this or this. We're talking about this. But... I think a ATST would be, I'm sorry, ATAT um, would be absolutely amazing just because I don't think Lego's ever done that. Now, that would probably be a $700 set. So, you know, but an ATAT, it would be gorgeous to look at for me. So, uh, I'm going to go with an ATAT. Our next question comes from Doc Jedi Films. He says, What is your favorite? part of a lego set building plane stop motion reviewing etc um i'm gonna go with a weird answer here that's not one of your choices and say just having it i know that sounds kind of lame but have you ever i'm sure you have at least once in your life really badly wanted a lego set especially if it's an older one and you finally give in and you get it or maybe you get a really good deal or something and then you just you have it and you look over at it like and you're like i'm glad i have this set you know it's just so gorgeous and maybe you have it displayed or you're like me and you just put it in a bin and then you basically never see it again um but it's just something nice about having it and displaying those minifigures is always dope i i display my minifigures and believe me that's my favorite part um is like of a set is the minifigures like always I, I i even if the minifigures are garbage i always love like just having minifigures you know so um i'm gonna go with that having the set and displaying the minifigures and maybe the set too um so yeah our next question comes from jawa he says will you get lego star wars the Skywalker Saga. I don't know why I read it like that. Yes, I definitely will be getting that game. I'm very excited for it. Um, I hope it's good, though, being that LEGO games have kind of gotten weird over the time, like with making it more about side quests instead of the actual mission. Um, so hopefully this game has a good balance of those, or in my opinion, what would make it better is if they just got rid of those side missions completely and had like the old school LEGO Star Wars where you just walk through a door to start your mission and you don't have to go find your level um that would be my preference but we'll see what happens um and fun fact for you all someday in the near future because the game is supposed to come out last month i think um but it never did or rather it was rumored um i will be playing this game someday while you're watching this very series and i answer future questions so that will be fun to see right mm -hmm. No. Our next question comes from Salty. He says, Do you record you playing Minecraft before you speak over, or do you do it at the same time? Well, first of all, I'm not playing Minecraft right now, so I'm a little confused. No, I'm just kidding. I know what you mean. Um, no, I do not record my audio at the same time as while I'm playing, because, yeah. Um, so, in case you don't know how I do it, I record my audio on my phone 
and I record my gameplay on my Xbox, and then I put them together in a video um, like this, and then I, when I take my my audio, which is actually considered an MP4, because I'm literally just recording my computer desk um, and speaking into my phone, I drag it down here, and then that turns it into an MP3, and that's what you hear me talking to you is um, on. Does that make sense? So, yeah, um, and then, of course, I add pictures and stuff, and then that's it, and so that's um, how I make these ASA videos. So, yeah, I hope that kind of answered your question. Our next question comes from Movies Like Swagger. He says, do you like the Lego Mando minifigure? Honestly, it's all right. Um, I couldn't care less, really, because I would love to see one with the Beskar armor, and I feel like they could have done that or should have done that with the uh, Razor Crest set just to make it more exclusive, like... He just looks like a hobo, kind of, wearing his um, ragged armor, like, versus the Beskar looks all shiny and just amazing. So, um, that's what I would have preferred to get a Beskar Mando minifigure, and maybe we will someday. So, yeah. Um, and our very last question of the day comes from Swispy Stop Motion Studios. He says, what is your favorite and least favorite video type? that you do so mock swift music is hands down my favorite just because it's the easiest to make i know that sounds kind of lame but um because literally all i have to do is go on pinterest find some lego mocks that i like put them in a video pan the screen around put some music i like over it download it put it on youtube add tags and description and it's done it's, it's that simple. Um, this is another easy series to make because all I had to do is record my audio and then put some images over what I'm saying so it makes more sense. Um, versus my reviews, I had to actually have good lighting. I had to actually make sure that the set can be seen in the camera. It's not blurry like it's in the shot. Um, and I had to actually talk about the set and figure out what I'm going to say. Because sometimes I forget what I was going to say while I'm recording. And then I just try to act like I know what I'm doing by acting all smart and saying, like, this is a set with studs on top. And it's like, people are probably like, yeah, I know. So, um, you know, so um, reviews are definitely my least favorite type of video. Not saying I hate doing reviews, but like they're the hardest to make. Um, and Mox with Music is my favorite because it's the easiest to make. Um, so, yeah. But that's going to do it for today's video. So, thank you all very much for your questions. Please comment something for next ASA so I can answer even more questions in the future. Um, have a fantastic day, and I will see you all in the next one. And don't forget to answer that question in the pinned comment. Okay, I let you go by now. <laughs>